Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we're gonna to take a look at an Ellen Villa style, and this isn't a new style. In fact, this style is from their 2019 Changes collection, and this is Ellen Villa's turn mono in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted, so stay tuned. First, I wanna thank my friends at Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this wig so I could do a review for you today. All right, let's jump into it. I think many of you know that these shorter styles aren't necessarily styles that I gravitate to, but at the end of the day, reviewing wigs is for you, it's not for me. So I'm hoping that if this style was on your selection list, that this review may help you make your buying decision a little bit easier. All right, let's dive into it. So again, this is Ellen Villa's Turn Mono in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. And at the end of the day, it is a mid-length curly style and it's extremely lightweight. So I think many of you that really like this length are going to gravitate towards this particular style. So why don't I do a turn so that you can see turn mono on all sides. So this is my front. And as you can see, I have it tucked on the left hand side. And for me, it feels more comfortable and looks more attractive that way. But if you don't like tucking the wig, this is what it would look like untucked, which is cute too. I just prefer tucking it. And why don't I show you the front before I do a full turn so that you can see this lace front. And you know what? I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this lace. As you can see, I think the lace is quite visible. I think the knotting is fine, but the lace, and that could be due to my skin tone being a little bit darker, but so as much as I'm not in love with the lace front on this particular piece, you don't really see it. Because of this fringe bang that sweeps very naturally off to the side, I think it's really well disguised. And I haven't done anything to this wig. So this is straight out of the box. I use my fingers just sort of to loosen those fibers away from the cap and that's all I've done, which I really like that it is truly a ready to wear wig right out of the box. Okay, so there's my front. This is my right side and then the back my left side and I'll show it to you untucked from the side in the event you prefer to wear it that way and then back to the front. So one thing that I think is really important to point out is that this wig cap is defined as a petite average. It is not a petite in my opinion. I have a 22 inch circumference head, which is clearly not petite. It's in fact on the higher end of average and this cap is fitting me perfectly fine. So don't let that definition of the cap being a petite average discourage you if you have dimensions closer to 22 like, my, like I do. So Turn Mono has a lace front, it has a left-handed monofilament part, and then the rest of the wig is wefting. So why don't I take it off so I can show you the inside of this cap. The cap is fitting very comfortably, like I mentioned, um, and it's extremely lightweight. That is a huge plus for this particular style. So there is that left-handed monofilament part and the lace front. It doesn't run into the ear tabs, but the transition looks good while it's on my head. Um, and given the way that fringe falls on either side, any an extended lace front actually isn't even needed on this particular piece. And then you have open wefting sides and back. You've got the extended nape with Velcro adjusters so that you can adjust this wig. So if you have a larger head circumference than mine, so again, mine's 22 inches, I think you might be able to get away with a 22 and a half, but no more than that. And then you've got a felt, felt covered ear tabs with metal stays. So why don't we talk about the dimensions on turn mono. So this front friend fringe section is six inches. So my face from hairline to chin is seven inches. If I'm to pull those bangs down, that makes sense that these are six inches. The other thing that I like about this particular style and these bangs is that it's not flopping in my face. So if you're working at a desk, put your head down and put it back up. You don't have to worry about this style flopping in your face, which I think is a really big plus. The sides are six inches. The crown is eight. The nape is three. And the total weight of this wig is only 2.6 ounces. So you could absolutely wear this piece comfortably all day long um, without it feeling hot or heavy on your head. 
As I mentioned earlier, I have turned mono in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. So clearly it's a rooted shade. You can see the roots here. I think they're done really well. They are a dark root. And then the base of the shade is actually a blend of three different colors. You've got two blondes, which is a medium honey blonde, a light ash blonde, but then it describes, Ellen Villa describes this color as also having a lightest, lightest reddish brown. If the reddish is scaring you or worrying you a little bit, I honestly don't see much red in this at all. I think it's a really pretty color. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a quick look at Ellen Villa's Turn Mono in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.